Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be reading Immortal Blood from Oblivion, because someone wanted me to read it, and I want to read it. So, here we go. The moons and stars were hidden from sight, making that particular quiet night especially dark. The town guard had to carry torches to make their rounds, but the man who came to call at my chapel carried no light with him. I came to learn that Movarth Pekin see in the dark almost as well as the light. An excellent talent considering his district's interests were exclusively nocturnal. One of my acolytes brought him to me, and from the look of him, I at first thought he was in need of healing. He was pale to the point of opalescence. I don't know how to say that word, but fine, we'll go with it. With a face that looked like it had once been very handsome before some unspeakable suffering. The dark circles under his eyes bespoke an exhaustion, but the eyes themselves were alert, intense almost insane. He quickly dismayed my notion that he himself was ill, though he did not want to discuss a specific disease. Vampirism, he said, and paused and looked at my quizzical look. I was told that you were someone I could seek out for help understanding it. Who told you that? Tessina Gray. I remembered her, a brave, beautiful knight who needed my assistance separating fact from fiction on the subject of the vampire. It had been two years, and I had never heard whether my advice had proved effective. You've spoken to her. How is her ladyship? Dead. She said your advice was invaluable. At least for the one vampire. When last I talked to her, she was tracking another. It killed her. Then the advice I gave her was not enough. Why do you think it would be enough for you? I was a teacher once myself, years ago. Not in a university, a trainer in the Fighters Guild. But I know that if a student doesn't ask the right questions, the teacher cannot be responsible for his failure. I intend to ask you the right questions. And that he did. For hours, he asked questions that I answered what I could, but he never volunteered any information about himself. He never smiled. He only studied me with those intense eyes, committing every word I said to memory. Finally, I turned the questioning around. You said you were a trainer at the Fighters Guild. Are you on assignment for them? No. I would like to continue this tomorrow night. If I could. I need to get some sleep and absorb this. You sleep during the day. I smiled. To my surprise, he returned the smile. That was more of a grimace. When tracking your prey, you adapt their habits. The next day, he returned with more questions. These ones very specific. He wanted to know about the vampires of Eastern Skyrim. I told him about the most powerful tribe, the Volcair, paranoid and cruel, whose very breath could freeze their victim's blood in their veins. I explained to him how they lived beneath the ice of remote and haunted lakes, never venturing into the world of men except to feed. Movarth listened carefully and asked more questions into the night until he was ready to leave. I will not see you for a few days. But I'll return and tell you how helpful your information has been. True to his word, the man returned to my chapel shortly after midnight four days later. There was a fresh scar on his cheek, but he was smiling that grim but satisfied smile of his. Your advice helped me very much, but you should know that the Volcair have an additional ability you didn't mention. They can reach through the ice of their lakes without breaking it. It's quite a nasty surprise being grabbed from below without any warning. How remarkable! I said with a laugh. I don't want to laugh. And terrifying. You're lucky you survived. I don't believe in luck. I believe in knowledge and training. Your information helped me, and my skill at melee combat sealed that bloodsucker's fate. I never believed in weaponry of any kind. Too many unknowns. Even the best swordsmith has created a flawed blade, but you know what your body is capable of. I know I can land a thousand blows without losing my balance, provided I get the first strike. The first strike. So you must never be surprised. So I came to you, said Movarth. You know more than anyone alive about these monsters and all their cursed varieties across the land. Now you must tell me about the vampires of Northern Valenwood. I did as he asked, and once again his questions taxed my knowledge. There were many tribes to cover. The Bonsamu, who were indistinguishable from Bosmer except when seen by candlelight. The Kirith, who could disintegrate into mist. The Ikef, who swallowed men whole. The dread Telboth who preyed on children, eventually taking their place in the family, waiting patiently for years before murdering them all. Their unnatural hunger. 
Once again, he bade me farewell, promising to return in a few weeks. And once again, he returned, as he said, just after midnight. This time, Mulvarth had no fresh scars, but again had new information. You're wrong about the Kareev being able to vaporize when pushed underwater, he said. Fortunately, they cannot travel far in their mist form, and I was able to track it down. Must have surprised it fearfully. Your field knowledge is becoming impressive. I should have had an acolyte like you decades ago. Now tell me, of the vampires of Cyrodiil. I told him what I could. There was but one tribe in Cyrodiil, a powerful clan who could oust all other competitors. They're all gone, much like the Imperials themselves had done. Their true name was unknown, lost in history, but they were experts in concealment. If they kept themselves well fed, they were indistinguishable from living people. They were cultured and more civilized than the other vampires of the provinces, preferring to feed on victims while they were asleep. Unaware. They will be difficult to surprise, Movarth frowned, but I will seek one out and tell you what I learn. Then you will tell me of the vampires of High Rock, Hammerfell, and Ilzra, and Black Marsh, and Morrowind, and the Somerset Isles, yes? I nodded. Knowing that this was a man on an eternal quest, he wouldn't be satisfied with, but the barest hint of how things were, he needed to know it all. He did not return for a month. And on the night that he did, I could see the frustration and despair, though there were no lights burning in my chapel. I failed. You were right. I could not find a single one. I lit a candle and brought it up to my face and smiled. He was surprised, even stunned by the paler of my flesh, the dark hunger in my ageless eyes, and the teeth. Oh yes, I think the teeth definitely surprised the man who could not afford to be surprised. I haven't fed in 72 hours. As I fell on him, he did not land the first blow or the last. I really like this book. It adds a lot to the, the vampirism that you can actually get in this game. Like, if you read the books in Oblivion and study them, you end up realizing, you know, this is the vampirism you have. This is the form of it that you get. And it seems that whatever vampire clan gives you the disease, that's the disease that you contract. So uh, obviously, you know, you have to feed on people at night. And if you're healthy, you don't look sick. But if you don't feed, you know, it takes about 72 hours in the game to really look like a vampire. And, well, if you don't feed, you it's very obvious that you are a vampire. So I, I really like this. And I like that it adds, It's it, it kind of adds to the world around Cyrodiil. You know, it adds to just the entire universe about all these vampires, and I, I really like it. I mean, I like the twist. I actually read this and didn't record it. There's a lot of hints in the book um, that kind of like, when you read it again, you realize, oh, this guy is also hunting this Movarth that keeps coming back. The guy who wrote this is still hunting him. And he talks about being in his chapel, so you, you know, he might be in a chapel somewhere you don't know. You know, he might there might be a vampire in one of these chapels, and you just don't know it's a vampire. So I really like it. Yeah, so that's really it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific Cloud Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam and Post of whatever I decide to make.